Hello. In this movie I'm going to present you Fire Spread Simulation Asset. Basically it's an application which uh, allows you to simulate uh, a fire spread on generated forest. The asset consists of a simple uh, terrain generator and uh, fire spread simulation. The terrain generation uh, takes a few parameters. Uh, first uh, you can uh, specify uh, the size of the forest, which is uh, a square type. Uh, you can set a uh, percentage uh, for green trees, uh, dead trees, uh, ground field and water field. For the fire spread uh, simulation you can uh, take a number of uh, the fire seeds, uh, fire lifetime, uh, time for reborn uh, for burn tree, uh, humidity level, uh, self-ignition possibility, air temperature, and wind speed. The simulation works fine even for large forest uh, dimensions. User can either specify each of the parameters or leave uh, blanks. Uh, for small forest uh, you will be able to see a 3D version. If you want uh, to set a, a higher forest, let's say a dimension of 100, let's set uh, green trees for 80% uh, dead trees let's, uh, let's set it to 1 ground field let's say it's 3% and uh, let's put uh, the rest for the water we can specify number of uh, fire seeds which uh, means uh, in how many places uh, the fire will start uh, at the beginning so let's say we will st uh, stick with uh, 3 places uh, uh, for large uh, dimensions, uh, it's uh, good to set uh, a higher uh, lifetime, fire lifetime, so let's uh, say it's equal to 3. Let's stay with the reborn after 40 loops. Humidity level, let's set it to 20%. Self-ignition possibility, let's set it to 1. Temperature, 30 degrees and wind speed let's say 60 kilometers uh, we can uh, choose uh, three types of forest the first one is uh, very simple as you can see all the fields uh, are being generated from the left side we can also set uh, a terrain like a lake And we can set a terrain which will imitate uh, a river. So after hitting uh, the start fire we can uh, see that uh, the fire starts in uh, three places. And each, in each loop uh, the fire will spread. Uh, the arrow on the left uh, is uh, saying which uh, direction the wind is going right now. So, as we see, it's uh, going to the south, so it's less uh, possible to the fire to move to the north. The rendered uh, application looks like that, so again we can specify the size uh, for the forest, uh, we can specify all other uh, parameters. Or we can leave uh, the fields uh, blank, uh, they will be filled with uh, their basic uh, value. Now, after you're hitting uh, generate uh, forest, uh, you might uh, experience uh, a little lag. It's uh, because uh, each of these uh, elements uh, is uh, communicating with uh, each uh, neighbor, which uh, takes a time uh, considering uh, the forest size you uh, specified. Right now we specified uh, the size of the forest for uh, 150, which uh, basically means we got uh, 22,500 uh, little squares, which, uh, which is our forest. And we got a big lake. After hitting uh, the start uh, simulation we can see that uh, fire appears 
in different places. That's because uh, we set the self-ignition possibility to 1, we set the humidity level to 15 and uh, air temperature to 30, which is uh, very good uh, for the fire to spread. You can also play with uh, other parameters and see how this simulation is going. The asset uh, consists of a uh, few simple models. Uh, we got uh, 3D tree, we got uh, 3D ground, uh, we got uh, also low poly versions uh, which are used uh, for the uh, first of dimension size uh, 30 and uh, bigger. We got also uh, all these uh, models uh, in prefabs and we got also the main uh, prefab which is uh, fire simulation prefab. All of the scripts uh, are uh, described uh, with uh, the comments so it should be easy to understand uh, what is going on in each uh, of the class. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video, thank you for choosing my assets.